Hello guys, what's up and welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Park Studio. In this tutorial, I'm going to show how we can create interior design with the SketchUp 2024. Very simple and easy with using a SketchUp library, which name is 3D Warehouse, and you can download multi-type of objects and 3D models from it for your projects. Let's get to work. First of all, we need our environment. Our environment related to our design and some process which related to your interior design so i'm going to start my job with using line option or rectangle i prefer to use rectangle so i'm going to draw some rectangle with some dimension about for example 400 comma 700 and i'm going to press enter so i need to click on the extrude option in here press ctrl and extrude this face about 14 centimeter so now I need my walls for my design. So I will use offset in here. Click on the offset and draw my walls about 8 centimeters. So I need to click on the pusher pull, press control. And another time I need to extrude these walls about 276 centimeters. So everything is done. And now I'm going to click on it and convert it to the group in here. So I want to click on the uh, these group in here, so I need to triple click on it, click on the uh, tape measure and draw some measured lines, for example, 60 centimeter and another one about 100 centimeter. So I will access my door from here, so it's really important for me to model it, so I'm going to click on it, draw it and probole in it. It means make it empty and remove all of these extra lines in here. So I will close it in this place. And right now I need some type of objects for my interior design, which related to 3D models. So I'm going to start my job with these options in here, which name is 3D Warehouse. And you can see it in the uh, large toolbox in here. So I think I need to remove this option in here. And this is the large toolbox in here. You can click on the uh, 3D warehouse and it will open for you very simple. It depends on multiple factors uh, like your network and internet speed. So I want to type, for example, living room furniture. Or maybe it's better to write furniture set. So I'm going to click on these search option in here. It takes a little bit of time. And after that, you can access to multi type of furnitures, which related to interior and you can see it in here. So I can click on the uh, filters in this place and I can change some information. For example, file size. I need some file size between 10 to 25 and I'm going to click on the apply changes. So now it will filter the search for me and I can only see some high quality furnitures which related to my design process. So I can select one of them for my interior. For example, this kitchen set is not really bad and I can use it, but I will search and continue my job. I want to start my job with these set bed kits. So by the uh, Tiago Tiani, I think. So I'm going to click on the download, press yes. It takes a little bit of time and SketchUp will start downloading this model for you. Very simple and easy. Uh, I can use this model in many type of places like living room design, bedroom design, office design, and some other type of designs which like this. So I will wait to get this download complete. Alright, my download completed for me and now time for placing it. You can see my cursor completely changed and after a few seconds your complete model will be loaded for you. So I need to select one of these places for these desk for example. So I'm going to select these part of my job like that. Click on the uh, rotate option, rotate it 90 degree like that. And I'm going to click on the move option, move it to this part of my job, something like this. 
and now we need another partition so I'm going to click on my interior walls take one copy in some place like that take another copy like this and make some type of partition like that I think it's really good and helpful for my job you can redesign it by multi type of shapes for example I can extrude it more about 44 make it a little bit thinner and I can click on the uh, rectangle tool in here rectangle and draw some multiple rectangles to create some type of shape for my design it completely depends on you and you can use these type of tricks for make your interior design more realistic something like that now I can click on the push or pull make these part of my jobs more realistic something like that and another option related to the uh, 3d warehouse is about another type of furniture so I'm going to open it again and you can see it will load your previous search engine for you this time I want to use another type of furniture so I will search for it it maybe it take a little bit long and finally maybe you can select some type of design for your interior maybe maybe something like this can be good so I'm gonna click on the download again press yes and another time it will start downloading your new model for you the main point is that if you want to use 3d warehouse extension account you need to sign in by your Google or any type of account you need to log in it to your SketchUp Trimble identity and after that after uh, synchronizing and verification you can use completely free 3d warehouse extension on your SketchUp all right my another furniture downloaded for me and now I can place it in my environment so I need to place it in here something like that for example like this or I can move it to the back side like that it completely depends on you but right now I think someplace like this can be really good for me I can move it to this part of my house all right this time I need to download another type of object like television so I will retype my search engine TV and press enter it takes a little bit of time and after that these type of sets will be generated for you in this case I want to use for example this one so I'm going to click on the uh, download press yes all right I download my new model in here I can triple click on it delete this image in here rotate these TV box like that 90 and make it more closer to the wall something like this maybe I can triple click on it select TV click on the scale option and rescale it a little bit something like that and you can see how we can generate our interior model in here right now for example you want to create your camera in a sketchup so you need to click on the uh, position camera in here select these face in here now your cursor converted to the eye point and you can move it to some type of angle like this I want to type my eye height at the right side bottom so I'm going to type 100 54 and press enter or maybe 120 is enough for me something like that so I can use camera two-point perspective and I will click on the uh, paint bucket in here and finally I can customize my preview for my client or employee or my project manager so I will click on the uh, style option in here click on the edit mode turn off the uh, sky click on the align option reduce the profiles to the one click on the uh, face setting you can see our styles on the uh, display shaded using textures I can change it to the uh, 
display shaded using all the same it means all of them will be converted to your white mode or you can use the uh, raw color I prefer to use this one I will turn on the uh, ambient occlusion in here increase the uh, intensity and distance like that and you can see what really happened inside your project so be careful to use it on the uh, normal numbers I think something like that is enough for me I will click on the uh, background setting everything is done and in the uh, model setting I will turn off the uh, model axis so after all of these changes I need to refresh my style in here click on the uh, scene and click on the uh, add scene in here so my first camera created for me now I can add some roof for my project something like that click on the extrude extrude it and finally I want to turn back to my camera I only need to click on the scene one in here when I click on it I can see my project like that and if I click on these zoom option in here I can zoom out a little bit click on the eye option maybe it's not really optimized so I will click on the scene number one something like that is really wonderful so I think everything is done and now you can create your output so I hope you enjoyed this video guys if this tutorial is useful for you please like and subscribe our YouTube channel thanks for your time thanks for watching and goodbye